I am Johnny Massacre and welcome to the Johnny Massacre Show. This is the Monday Night Massacre. On tonight's show, Elon Musk murders Saturday Night Live. In other news, Canelo breaks Saunders' eye socket in a match that was watched by 70,000 maskless motherfuckers at the Dallas Cowboys Stadium in Texas. Who's fucking with me? Give me a hell yeah! Who saw Elon Musk on Saturday Night Live? I was a little bit wide for him because I've seen him before make speeches and stuff and he's very awkward, but in a charming way. And he fucking smashed it. The monologue was great. And the weird thing was, I was watching Joe Rogan a little bit before and he was talking respectfully of his mate Muskie. But he did say he's not a comedian. He's, he's not funny. And actually, Elon Musk is literally funnier than Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's kind of amusing because he always talks about comedy. He has a massive passion for it. And he talks about it as if it's his main thing. But he's not a good comedian. If you've ever seen a Joe Rogan stand-up, it's basically not funny. It's him just shouting a lot and him high, <laughs> high on drugs. So I did find that quite amusing that Elon Musk is literally funnier than Joe Rogan absolutely smashed it now the build-up to this was fucking ridiculous he obviously heard about all this shit people didn't want him to go on snl there was headlines saying staff members won't be forced to share the stage with elon musk presumably because they're such pussies they might be too triggered i don't get it <coughs> well i do get it elon musk is the richest guy in the world and he's not owned by the left the left only give a shit about power they don't give a fuck about morality at all in this day and age. They want to take over every single institution known to man. During Trump's presidency, they used the filibuster 250 times. I believe it was a record. I think Republicans used it none. And then as soon as they get into power, they want to remove the filibuster so they can basically create an authoritarian regime and have power forever. So that's... If you break that down, it's kind of like saying, OK, we have a democracy, so we'll vote fairly. And then when we get into power, we'll destroy the d democracy. That's kind of what leftists want to do. They've taken over education. They've taken over the universities. They've taken over entertainment. They've taken over sport. They've taken over mainstream media. They've taken over big tech and social media. They've taken over literally fucking everything. But the one thing they haven't gotten, the one thing they haven't gotten is the world's richest man. So screw you, leftists. You've got... Baldy, Cubal, Bastard, Bezos. You've got Bill Gates, Nobed. You've got all those fucking cunts, but you don't have Elon Musk. And I know he's a controversial figure. I don't know why. But it's amazing that not only is this man not a, a weird leftist and he's the richest man in the world, but he's actually able to go onto Saturday Night Live and do a better performance than Joe Rogan would have and even the host, Jimmy Fallon, in my opinion which probably isn't that hard to do. But really, joking aside, I, I'm f pretty pretty terrible a comedian myself, as you can see. But joking aside, if you could call that a joke, it's amazing that he could actually get up there and do that. When if you imagine his rivals doing that, imagine Jeff Bezos tried to host Saturday Night Live. It would be akin to bashing your scrotum with a spiked bat. It would be fucking agonizing and painful to watch and witness and, exp <laughs> and experience. So just amazing that he can actually get up there, especially with all the criticism and stuff. I don't think the money's going to make it make him any less nervous. So it's just, just a really great thing. And I'm happy that he's not a leftist. He's obviously red pilled. He's said stuff about red pills and stuff on Twitter. So look, I was just happy to see him get up there. Imagine Zuckerberg trying to do that with Bill Gates. It just wouldn't fucking work. So he's a fucking hero. Dogecoin did lose a lot of value. So in the anticipation to Elon Musk attending and hosting, I should say, SNL, Saturday Night Live, Dogecoin, his preferred cryptocurrency, in his own words, even though he spent way more on Bitcoin, it was surging because he kept bigging it up. And then what must have happened is once he hosted it, all the kind of casuals who bought some Dogecoin decided to sell it because the value had gone up because he was on Saturday Night Live. Now the price has gone down quite a lot. But anyways, it's going to stabilize and go back up. But it's quite amusing that after his performance on SNL, Dogecoin went down in value. Musk said a really funny joke. He said that people are reduced to just one thing that they've done. So he's famous for smoking a spliff on Joe Rogan. It made a really, really cool still image. <laughs> There's a picture of him with a raised eyebrow 
and a flabbergasted expression on his face. A bit of a, a flabbergasted isn't the word. He just looks like a fucking player. Like he doesn't give a shit. He's going like this. He's basically been reduced to that. And he says, it's not fair that people are only known for one thing. And he said, it's like reducing OJ Simpson to murderer. It was just one time. It was really funny. I don't know who wrote his opening monologue, but he's obviously really well connected. And because he knows Joe Rogan, who's extremely well connected and knows all the fucking comedians, I reckon they helped him out and shit. Although maybe not because Joe Rogan did say that he didn't think Elon Musk was funny, but whoever wrote his monologue, I don't think it was him. If it was him, he is truly a genius if he wasn't already. And I don't, you know, the left hate him because he's not part of the left. And it's pathetic. It, it, we are so tribalized now more than ever. The internet has just made us more stupid. It was supposed to give us access to information. But obviously people can't handle real information. And they need to be dominated and brainwashed by big tech. It's a fucking cult. The left is saying, oh, fuck Elon Musk. And then everybody says, fuck Elon Musk. Fuck Elon Musk. Elon Musk is a fucking genius. He's making rockets. He's engineering rockets that take off and fucking land again. So they can basically be recycled and we save loads of fucking money. He wants to colonize other planets to save the human race. He's He got onto the whole AI electric car, driverless cars before anyone else. Now you see Apple and all these other companies playing catch up. The guy's a fucking genius. He's providing ridiculous amounts of jobs. He's providing a massive boost to the economy and everything he does. And the most important thing is his innovation. He's innovating and he's keeping America at the top of the fucking mountain when it comes to innovation and innovation and science and all that shit. If you're number one at that, you basically rule the world. It's one of the most important things other than the military and things like that. So I just, it's, it's pathetic for leftists to just all get onto Elon Musk, but they absolutely fucking despise him. I did a few Google searches of Musk SNL before his performance, and it was just wall-to-wall Google-boosted articles saying shit like Musk is terrible, Musk isn't funny, why is he doing this, why he's controversial, basically why you shouldn't like Musk. Leftists hate him because they don't own him. They want to own everything. As I said, it's all about power with leftists. They're not concerned with morality or truth or just even being able to give someone some good entertainment. Everything is political. Everything is partisan. Let me show you the Google search that I did just before SNL and how salty and bitter and miserable and resentful and how typically leftist it is. Have a look. The Verge says, Elon Musk on Saturday Night Live explained. So we need to write a narrative that Musk is a fucking piece of shit because he's not a leftist. We're going to explain it to all you idiots. That's what they think of their readers. They think they're all idiots. Politico, how the internet turned on Elon Musk. Uh, yeah, even on a liberal lefty show, they get on Elon Musk to save their ratings. He's massively popular. The internet has not turned on Elon Musk. He's probably one of the most popular people online there is. Straight Times, SNL host Elon Musk takes a Saturday off from Tesla's troubles. Trying to frame everything is just terrible for Elon Musk. So, yeah, that was really pathetic. And then it, it was funny. And I googled SNL Musk after his performance and there was people trying to say, he's not funny, Musk isn't funny. So it's really pathetic. Leftists, just fucking relax. Musk is awesome. I love Musk. He kicked us on SNL. So big up, Musky. In other news, Canelo fought Saunders. So this was a massive, huge boxing match. Canelo, who's probably the biggest star in boxing at the moment, and is just an amazing boxer, the Mexican Canelo. He's taken on Saunders. I believe he's a British boxer who won his last 30 fights it was a great fight if you didn't see it Saunders he actually fooled me in rounds six and seven he was visibly growing in confidence against Canelo he caught him a few times and he was using his jab really effectively keeping him at bay Canelo wasn't faced throughout the whole fight he's got this very compact style 
and he's like a fucking robot. He just sticks to the script. He sticks to the algorithm. He keeps it compact and he's waiting for his chance. And he basically played Saunders. Saunders started to tire in the eighth and then Canelo just turned the screw and hurt him really badly. He, he basically broke Saunders' eye socket. Saunders, he looks like the kind of guy, if you pissed him off in, if you pissed him off in a pub, he'd fucking kill you. He'd literally murder you and it would be all over the papers the next day. He, he looks like such a sketchy cunt. But I did think he had Canelo for a little bit. Despite that, despite that, I think even if it had gone the distance, the judges wouldn't have given it to Saunders because, you know, the judges are so biased in boxing. And But that's the cool thing about boxing. you you got to forget about the fucking judges because they're so corrupt. you just got to knock that cunt out. And knock that cunt out, Canelo did. So he wrong-footed Saunders and Saunders started ducking. And he ducked into a mighty uppercut by Canelo. And Canelo hit him full force, broke his eye socket. The round actually ended. Somehow Saunders managed to make it to the bell and he sat down in his corner and that was it. I think he just gave up. But I don't know exactly what happened, but they stopped the fight when he was in the corner. Apparently he couldn't see and he has a fucking broken eye socket. Some boxers find that really hard to recover from. So I don't know where Saunders is going to go from here. But he made probably about 2.5 million or more from the fight so he'll probably be okay and do you know what really fucking turned me on about this fight it had the biggest attendance ever for a boxing match and this is during this this really scary pandemic this really dangerous pandemic 70,000 plus motherfuckers maskless motherfuckers at that boxing match and guess what the guy in the center of the ring wearing a mask so we still are kind of in a clown world but you should wear a mask don't go against Wuhan health organization guidelines do what the world health organization say if you don't YouTube will ban you also the world health organization support exploring masturbation from zero to four year olds go and look it up on their website and they won't allow Taiwan into their administration because some people say they're paid off by China I wouldn't say that world health organization amazing the referee was wearing a mask i wouldn't question it but seventy thousand motherfuckers weren't wearing a mask and this is just awesome it shows that things are fucking moving briskly along and it made me realize that it's so beautiful in america that even though you've got alzheimer's biden in charge the state some states don't give a fuck and they'll lead the way. So all the Republicans, uh, all the Democrat states, apparently Democrats, that's who people voted for. All those states locking down, businesses are fucked. That basically means if, if the whole of America was Democrat, it would basically be destroyed. They'd all be locked down. The economy would be terrible. Guess what? If you pay people not to work, they're not going to go back to work. Loads and loads of companies are having problems right now. If you look it up online, people won't come in because, because of socialism. It turns out when you pay people not to work, they don't want to go back to work. And when that happens, there's no innovation, no growth. Capitalism basically stops and you get this ugly socialism. You get no growth. And motherfuckers like China, who, who aren't going to do any of that shit from within, they're not going to try to hamper themselves from within they're just brutally expansionist those people are going to usurp you but luckily we've got states like florida and texas you don't give a fuck they're opening back up their coronavirus death rate is better than the most locked down states but they keep locking it down because basically it's an excuse to ram through radical agenda for the democrats so texas and florida mwah, i love you thank you so much for showing the world how it's done no masks were being worn in that stadium it, thank god for them thank god for them and as I said, imagine every single state was Democrat. We'd have no innovation whatsoever. Everything would be shut down. Everyone would be wearing masks. Thank God. Thank God for, for these states. And it's just proved by the fact the leading minds in entertainment and, and science have left all the Democratic states. Elon Musk left Democratic states. He left California, I believe, to go to Texas. Joe Rogan, the most popular podcaster in the world, um, who's so important culturally for America. He's moved to Texas. Ben Shapiro moved to Florida. These states are what America is really like. I honestly think California and LA should just separate from America. We should go separate. We don't fucking need them anymore. And then we'll fucking see how well they get on. They'll be crawling back to Republicans. Democrats just destroy everything. The economy's in tatters and they pass huge COVID relief bills to bail them out for their shitty decisions, which just isn't fair. We should cut them loose and they'll come crawling back because they don't know how to do business. They're too ideologically possessed. They can't do anything based on common sense, facts or science. It's all about emotions. It's all about ideology. 
and this hugely popular boxing match, not just hugely popular, the, the most viewed live attendance of all time happening amidst the pandemic. Well, it just goes to show you, it's all about Republicans right now. You've got to vote Republican when you can, when the next opportunity comes about. And name me one thing Republicans do that ruin states. I can't think of one thing. They just, they keep it conservative. They stick to tradition, the traditions that made them successful in the first place. They're God-fearing. They're more respectful. They're more about individuals. They're less racist. They don't judge you based on your intersectional group identity. They don't play the victim. And they're all about business. And Democrats is all about feelings and emotion and, and, and fucking genderless bathrooms and making f being fat cool. So it's all about Republicans. Well done, Texas, at the Dallas Cowboys Stadium for allowing that many fans into the stadium. Have a look at this over on Yahoo Sports. It says Canelo Saunders fight at AT&T Stadium sets boxing attendance record with more than 73,000 fans. And then Yahoo, bitter leftists that they are, they said, even though the COVID-19 pandemic's still going on, yes, the numbers are going down drastically. It's time to open up, you twats. We know you're using this because, well, look, if you can circumvent traditional laws, and have special emergency powers during an emergency, then you're just going to create emergencies to circumvent laws and get your special powers. And that's what Democrats do. Uh, the the COVID-19 pandemic allowed them to have more mail-in ballots, and that was very successful for Democrats. It also allowed them to ram through this huge COVID relief bill, which basically bailed out all the states that went bankrupt because they're locking people down when Florida and Texas basically didn't lock people down. And they had the same death rate, not as bad as the states that did lock down the, the heavily locked down Dem states. So look, the stadium is packed. Look at this fucking beautiful. Look at that. 73,126 people in attendance. That makes me very happy. God bless you, Texas. God bless you, Florida. We fucking love you over here in Tokyo and back in my home country of England. If you're just tuning in, I'm Johnny Massacre and we have been discussing Elon Musk hosting Saturday Night Live and also the Canelo versus Saunders boxing match, a match attended by a record amount of people, 70 thousand seventy three thousand one hundred twenty six I believe it is if my memory serves me correctly and that's a great sign that the the COVID over the COVID overreaction by the government is going to end soon but if you've been watching from the beginning stop your grinning and drop your linen donate some cash and let's keep winning streamlabs.com forward slash Johnny Massacre donate you're going to get more videos like these and well we can make those insane cultist leftists shed tears and then I can drink them because they taste like strawberry milkshake and we can all enjoy their misery together because they must be removed from power because they are evil. <sighs> so fucking tasty. I do love leftists though, really. All my best friends are leftists. Literally, my best friend is a leftist and I love him. And I'm not close-minded and stupid enough to not give someone a chance or break up a friendship just because we disagree on three or four things. I've been Johnny Mask and I tell you what, mate, you better be back for the next episode. Otherwise, I'll be coming around your ass. Please make sure to like and subscribe and tell all your fucking friends because that is what all those other cunts tell you to do. Laters.